Secretary Clinton stated that she never sent or received information marked as classified on her server. Director Comey stated that was not true. Do you agree with Director Comey? You know, Director Comey has chosen to provide great detail into the basis for his recommendations that were ultimately provided to me. He's chosen to provide detailed statements. Secretary Clinton stated that she did not email any classified material, and Director Comey stated there was classified material emailed. Do you agree with Director Comey's conclusion about that? Again, I would have to refer you to Director Comey's statements for the basis for his recommendation. Director Comey stated that there is evidence of potential violations of the statutes regarding the handling of classified information. Do you agree with Director Comey's statement? Again, I would refer you to Director Comey for any further explanation as to the basis for his recommendations. NBC News Capitol Hill correspondent Kelly O'Donnell has been watching all of this for us, keeping a very close eye on this hearing live from the Hill now. Uh, have we learned anything new, Kelly O? I don't think there are new facts that have come into play, but I can tell you it is a tale of two hearings. The questions formed by Republicans versus the questions formed by Democrats. And it is stark, and in times there's some harshness to it, and the Attorney General is holding to her position that she's not going to get into the details. She was willing to talk about her airport meeting with former President Bill Clinton. No real new information there. She said it was Bill Clinton who asked to say hello. She described a a cordial sort of personable conversation but said no no discussion of anything that pertained to these facts then on the other issues of email and so forth there is one lawmaker who said it's a travesty and even brought up the impeachment and the perjury charge against Bill Clinton saying that he believes Hillary Clinton has not been treated like others under the law and then a Democrat talked about many people use private email many people understand that and that people have moved on so there are some tense moments here Craig there are clear Clearly differing views, and this hearing is certainly infused with the politics of the day. And at the same time, there's real frustration on the part of Republican lawmakers who don't feel they're getting the answers and don't understand uh, how this came about. They're not over it yet, Craig, and they're looking for other steps to pursue in case there is a legal standing for the issue of perjury. Did Hillary Clinton, when testifying under oath before Congress, state things about her email use that the FBI now knows to be uh, inaccurate? Uh, they're trying to get at that, and this hearing may push the ball forward a little bit, but the Attorney General is not opening the door. Craig? Kelly, your, your last point there really quickly. Does that mean we can expect more hearings related to Hillary Clinton's emails? Well, we don't have notification of more hearings, but on the House side, the two committees with direct responsibility have uh, already had Comey and Lynch. Uh, it's possible they each could have the other, uh, and the Senate side could kick into this as well. It's just not clear yet, uh, but the standing, the oversight privilege that Congress has to look at how government is functioning, that's in play, and they could certainly make requests to have this talked about further. Craig?